Welcome to Cruise Kibbits, where we give you all the advice that you didn't ask for. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Cruise Kibbits. We are so excited to talk to you all because we got a good topic for you today. You're going to get some really yes. useful information because mm-hmm. today we are talking all about the do's and don'ts of transportation for your cruise. Listen, yes. covering, getting to the embarkation city, getting to a hotel. We're going to talk about why you need a hotel in just a minute. We're yes. talking about getting to the cruise site. Yep. We're talking about parking. Mm-hmm. We're covering it all today. So I'm excited, ladies. Are y'all excited? To talk yeah, about it? I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's get to it. I know we were having a discussion about flying in the day of a cruise, and I was like, I don't think we've done that, but we actually have. Um, mm-hmm. We did it on the <laughs> inaugural for Virgin, and that's when we took that crazy, I didn't plan anything. Don't uh-huh. do that. <laughs> this was literally plane, train, and bus. <laughs> It took oh, us to get to that cruise ship. Yes, so. it's not a automobile. Yes, it's literally what we did to get to that. Cru- that should have that should have been what I named the episode: plane, trains, and automobiles. Because that's exactly what we did. Girl. So don't do that. Plan it. Um, the one thing I found out <laughs> the last time I sailed is we had a flight. We had a late flight, like six o'clock in the evening, I think, or something. You know, you off the cruise ship around nine o'clock generally. Um, we thought we would just take our bags to the airport, drop them off, check them in, and then go about our day and have enjoyed the city. Well, you can only check bags so far in advance of a flight. Mm-hmm. Yes. I believe it was two to three hours before the flight. So we were there way too early to check our bags and then had to deal with what do we do with our bags now? We want to go around. We don't have a vehicle. We're going to be lifting or Ubering, and now we're going to have all this luggage with us. So luckily, we found a place that would store it for us, but yes. it's just something. It was you know, those things that just catch you off guard. We didn't plan yeah. for it. We had to figure out something else quickly. Mm-hmm. And then I, I guess kind of an extension from that, you know, if you are close enough or if you just decide to use your own ve- vehicle and drive to the port, you know, uh, one thing you want to consider is, you know, where do you want to park? Do you want to do off-site parking or mm-hmm. park at the terminal? So, again, once again, me, uh, team convenience. <laughs> I work at the terminal. <laughs> Uh, because I like the convenience of, you know, being able to get off the ship and go right across the street, you know, to my car and just get in and go. Um, but, you know, uh, I know some people, you know, who are looking for, you know, less expensive because terminal parking, it is probably the most expensive way to park. Uh, you might want to weigh your options, convenience versus security. I know the rule of thumb is not to book your return flight before 12 noon, correct? Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. Why, that's why I would suggest. Now we played Russian Rubik with that recently because of the prices. <laughs> and we, hey, we did an 11.45 one time and I was like, uh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. <laughs> I think the last one we did was 10 was 10.30 and I was just like, uh, but we felt seasoned enough to try it. It worked, but I wouldn't say no. 